All right, guys, so this posing session here was recorded on Thursday, which is the last day I was carb depleting. This is two days before competition, so Friday and Saturday I carb load. Here you'll notice the difference between my last posing session I posted in the last YouTube video, the two-week-out vlog here I'm a little tighter, a little drier, not as full for sure. Definitely very, very flat. I've been taking in about 70 grams of carbs for roughly four days straight. So as you can imagine with, you know, my body weight being, you know, high 180s, low 190s, with the size that I have, that's going to be uh, flattening me out quite a bit. So, looks surprisingly better than I thought I was going to look here. Uh, I felt really flat, but then when I looked at the posing video, definitely fuller than I thought I would look, and more crisp. So, that was uh, a pleasant surprise. Just really focusing on holding the poses here, I'm just showing you clips of each pose i'm trying to hold each pose for a good amount of time so this pose here really been working on this one a lot really trying to blow all that air out get that waist nice and tiny did a pretty decent job there this happens to be my favorite, most muscular, I would say, the hands clasped. Definitely liking the hands on hips as well. I would say that's second, and the crab, most muscular, uh, which has gotten way better. I worked on it quite a bit this, uh, this season, looking 100% better than what it was looking like probably two months ago. And the auxiliary poses... Some side serratus action. Gonna hit both sides. Gonna hit some calf shots for you and some hamstring curl shots to end it. So this was the last day of carb depletion before the carb load on Friday. All right, guys, so it is Friday, April 27th. It is one day before the competition tomorrow. I start my carb up right now. I'm actually outside the gym for my last session of the prep. It's gonna be a quick circuit. It's gonna be about four exercises, two sets per. Got my raisins here for the start of the carb up. For the carb up, we got a lot of Gatorade powder, potatoes and Cheerios. We got some chicken in there as well some sea salt and stuff like that so the deplete is over the carb up starts now can't believe it's one day out already guys it's just it's amazing how you could be one year out five years out and then all of a sudden you know your pro qualifier is uh is tomorrow pretty cool gonna head into the gym now do my last training session of the prep and i will check in with you guys after all right guys so just got out of my half an hour session did a warm-up and i did actually a big giant set of pull-ups push-ups shoulder raises dumbbell bicep curls and rope press downs Ooh, still a lot of out of breath here but sipping on a half a scoop away and then i got a ton of Gatorade's probably over 100 grams of carbs in here. Gonna sip on this as I drive home. That is the second quote unquote meal of the day. Feeling good guys, feeling relaxed more and more as I get closer to competition. And uh, once I get up to Jersey and settle in at the hotel today by three o'clock, hang out with my buddy, Johnny Barone, just chill. All the work is almost complete and then it's fun time. Alrighty guys, so I have arrived at the Hilton in Branchburg, New Jersey. I have to say the pricing for this is amazing and the hotel is fabulous. I, I, I literally want to move in like Elijah at the front desk. Shout out to you. You're a sweetheart. I could tell already. Appreciate the hospitality. I mean, I'm going to show you guys the room in a second, but as a fitness center, a pool, 
I mean, I want to stay here for at least a week, but uh, check out the room. Got a little uh, dining room table here. And the kitchen. Microwaves and cabinets. Everything's so damn nice. Like, can I live here, please? Got some coffee. Might actually have some of that tomorrow morning. Stove. And a very high tech fridge. Boom. Oops. Don't break anything, Gary. And then I got the freezer. So I'm putting my meals in here for tonight and then putting them back in the cooler um, tomorrow. Got a ooh, nacho night. Okay, okay. That's the 3rd of April. 26. Ooh, nothing for. I got some fireworks apparently tonight at 7. Okay, when I got out of the car today, that works. Cramped pretty bad, my vastus medialis uh, was locking up. That's just from driving though, feeling a lot better now. Got a nice TV here. Got a view of the traffic. Now, as I was driving up through Somerville, I just couldn't help but think, what a nice area. Never really been here before, so definitely impressed. Got two beautiful beds. Oh man, I could use a nap right now. I could totally fall asleep. Another big TV, got a mirror with a desk, some curtains. Little closet. You have the sink is out here, interesting. The nice mirror for when I do tanning tonight and tomorrow in the bathroom. But I gotta eat my meal. See it says 1.30. It is about 1.30 now. Got some potatoes and some salt. Got some good old water. Gonna go eat that now. All good vibes, all positive vibes. It's a beautiful thing. Grateful to be doing this, guys. Quarter turn to the right, gentlemen. He goes real short.
want to turn to the right? The audience has spoken, and so too have the judges. And the decision is unanimous. Ralph Stein, please bring the overall trophy to number 24, Gary. Yeah! There you go! There you go! Up there and get with them. Sushi time! Oh, Sushi wait, time! Sushi time! Yeah, get in there for a quick win. So it's actually seven o'clock in the morning, the day after the show. I'm at 
a Marriott right now in Bridgewater, New Jersey. So I stayed the night. I stayed at another hotel last night, uh, right near the venue where I competed at. Got about three and a half hours of sleep. Went to sleep very late. I went out to eat last night. Had a controlled meal. Very proud of myself. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked that I, I woke up after three and a half hours, but I think the adrenaline and just everything that went on yesterday kind of got me out of bed, but I'm still very relaxed. As you can see, I'm probably really tired, but the adrenaline and is is still going my buddy's still in the uh the hotel he's sleeping big shout out to johnny barone came out to new jersey to do my tan he did a phenomenal job i mean i no words honestly he i don't know what i would have done without him today he always supported me you've turned into a very good friend took off work two days to be with me today i got so much love for you brother thank you very much i got a, a an okay amount of footage i am an athlete first i just want to document and grow this sport that's that's the most important thing to me i was really focused and relaxed on competition day my family and friends got more footage than i did so got a good amount of pictures and video for you guys on stage honestly like when my number was called as the overall winner it still hasn't sunken in and i've heard this from a lot of top tier athletes when they accomplish you know big goals it's almost like it's not even happening it's very weird i know eventually i'll break down and get really emotional especially with my family and friends who supported me when i think back at all the hard times that i've had getting to this point how much i care that i'm a professional it's a childhood dream to do what i did last night in the sport that i love more than anything but i'm still in shock <laughs> shout out to everyone who came up to me at the show um saying they followed me i don't know why you guys do i really don't i appreciate it though it was really nice i got so much love you know we're all competitors at the end of the day and when i'm on stage i'm a competitor and i'm there to be the best i can be but there's a camaraderie among athletes off that stage that i experienced yesterday that clarified how amazing our sport is there's just nothing like this i've never been a part of anything like this in my life it's very rare for people in this day and age to do what they love be good at it so if you have the opportunity to do that that's a one in millions never take that for granted and even if you doubt yourself that you couldn't do it man I I'm human too, I have doubt. Do it your way, man, don't be following. Blaze your own trail, life is too damn short. I hate motivation, but damn. Thank you everybody who's been following me. It means a lot to get support, love you guys.